We know the benefits of early intervention and we know the benefits of that earlier, the earlier you intervene with allied health therapies like ours, the better outcome for the child and not just the child, but the family as well. Not only is there a really long wait to access standardised assessments from allied health staff, uh, paediatricians and other health professionals have extremely long wait lists. So we're hearing stories of paediatricians getting hundreds of referrals querying autism every single week. They're just simply unable to service this amount of referrals. So we saw an opportunity to help um, smooth that process over by offering our standardised clinical assessments to parents who are concerned about their child's development uh, to give them that evidence to take with them to their paediatrician appointment. Our uh, database of children, which is almost 1,000 strong, has demonstrated a 17 month delay um, from when the parents are first noticing uh, that their child's development is delayed to formal diagnosis and then a further 10 month delay from diagnosis to accessing early intervention. And during that time, it's not just the child that's in limbo, two thirds of our parents are coming to us extraordinarily stressed. Um, and one third of those parents are meeting the threshold for clinically high stress. Well, I've been trying since Riley, since she was one, and because she didn't have as many delays as her sister, um, she was classed as not needing help. It's only that she's got older, and um, she's been to more different specialists than that. She's just been put on a wait list now, and I've been told it's like 12 to 18 months to actually even be seen to get a diagnosis or where to go from there. With um, Riley, they're supposed to be starting prep next year, and the way she's going, she is nowhere near confident or ready to go. Rose has been doing an amazing job. Um, the team is great here and they've developed all of her um, programs based on the goals that her grandma um, had pointed out for them and the, her NDIS plan um, as well. She's just been so um, animated, she's been engaged with all of the different activities that the girls have for her and she's come out of her shell and she seems to be thriving. She's improved so much she wouldn't associate with anybody at um, daycare, she wouldn't be able to take her anywhere, she wouldn't communicate with anybody but now she's engaging in group activities, she's talking better, she's sort of catching up to the milestones she needs to. Well if anyone's got the opportunity to actually bring their kids to ARU, it's the best choice I've ever made. Um, it really helps the kids, um, it puts less stress on the families because all the therapies are all joined into one and it just makes the day so much easier. This is the first clinic of its type that I know of that will be in the Bundaberg region and we have heard anecdotal stories of families who have had to travel from Bundaberg to Harvey Bay to access these assessments in the past.